Hello, dear students. <clears throat> uh, at our last course uh, lecture, we have do the uh, illustrated things. Let us summarize what uh, we have done at last uh, study. We have uh, review user interface as it does that here. There must be line tools to modify toolbars. Uh, we have seen these uh, toolbars presented at here. We try to draw various lines, uh, try to draw a square, rectangle. And we have learned a couple of toolbars. And we try to create an array as well as it that here. You see, we try to draw hexagon, more forms. And lastly, uh, we try to create a text. And we try to create a title block, assuming that this title block has A3 paper size. So what we will do today we will learn how to save a file. Uh, what we will do in order to save a file, either use this toolbar or click file and then click save as. At here, uh, you must find your file folder from browser and uh, give a name for this file. You can change the version. Uh, if you will uh, transfer the uh, AutoCAD drawing to other AutoCAD, in general, use lower versions. Okay, but for now, we can continue our uh, DVG version as 2018 and save your file. So at Second, as a topic for second week, we will continue the use of this toolbar, but this time we will give extra information for you regarding the line type, uh, the layers, and etc. So let's continue our drawing. Uh, maybe we have mentioned or not, the dimension used at this template file is millimeter. Whatever you have drawing is millimeter. And we have mentioned the difference between the line as a toolbar and the polyline. In general, if we draw a polygonal shape, such as square, triangle, uh, <clears throat> hexagon, etc., we are using a polygon. Why? Because when we draw a line with polygon, and after canceling the comments, we click the drawn line, as you see, all the lines are picked in single line, single selection command. However, if we use the line comments, normal line comments, you see only segments at this line are chosen in order to select all of them. As we mentioned, you have to drag your mouse or cursor from right below to left uh, above, you see. If you do this selection, you see entire lines, all the lines within this area presented at here are selected. However, if you use cursor and create a selection area, you see from left above to right side, only the lines within this area are selected, you see. In order to select all of them, uh, the line segment of entire lines must be within this uh, area, you see. Otherwise, the remaining lines will not be chosen. However, uh, if we start from right below to left above, you see, all the lines 
intersecting with uh, the area, selection area, are selected. So this is the important, one of the important uh, separation from separation of line command to polyline commands. So in general, we are using polyline, make it a habit for you. So <clears throat> let's continue drawing something. So for example, let's create a square having a hundred millimeter dimension, you see. And pay attention that we have opened the auto mode and drawing a square. And let's continue at same uh, base by presenting 50 millimeter distance. Let's create a rectangle having same width with the square. So these are two <clears throat> object for us for the start. Uh, how we are changing the line type. Let's see. In order to change the line type, you should open this uh, toolbar presented at here. You see, this is the color of the line. This is the line type. However, there is no any other line defined, only the continuous line we have. And this is the line thicknesses. So uh, remember your last semester, remember your last semester, remember your last semester uh, teachings, learnings, uh, which line type and which line thickness are used. So click the other at here and see this dialog box. In order to <clears throat> load a line type different than these lines, click again load. And in general, we are using this ISO dash for dash line and dash dot ISO dash dot presented at here. In order to make multiple selection, press control and click. Okay. And apply it. Again, you see there is nothing change in order to assign uh, these line, the new uh, uploaded lines. Initially, you should select your line or object and then change it as by clicking the target line types. And let's change it with this one, you see. It's clearly visible. And <clears throat> remember that how what kind of line thicknesses we are using. Let me draw a couple of lines in order to see the differences. I will present 25 millimeter distance between these three lines. Let's make this line as 0 0.09 millimeter. Let's make this 0 0.18 or 20. And let's make it 0 0.40. So I have assigned three line thicknesses. And let's indicate these line thicknesses. Let's increase a little bit more. In order to see clearly and copy, this was 20, this was 40. And let's see <clears throat> the line thickness at 
printout. How we are making printout? Click either this icon, plot, or find it from file. The plot. You will see such a dialog box. Initially, please make this change. Make this plot style as a cat, or if you uh, if you will print out as black and white, choose monochrome. In general, we will use monochrome settings. But if you will do uh, colorful printouts, use ACAT CTV, okay? And then if you will print out as PDF, choose DVG to PDF, okay? And assign your paper size at here. You see, use in general ISO and A4 or A3 paper size. At here, A4 is enough for us. And then select this uh, plot area type to window. You see, it asks us a window so that uh, the area within the border of this window will be printed out. And then click this center to pilot and pay attention to this dialog box presented at here. It give us the dimension of the paper, you see, nine, uh, 297 millimeter by 210 millimeter. And then if we change drawing orientation to landscape, you see the uh, <clears throat> drawing within this paper, the orientation of the drawing within this paper is changed. Uh, let's look at what we will be print out from preview. You see, if we print out, we will see such a differences at this line type, you see. So pay attention to the change at line thicknesses. This is 0 0.09, 0 0.20, 0 0.40. So x, 2x and 4x, the change at line type. Similar with the uh, line thicknesses that we have learned at technical drawing font by using hand drawing. And this is the bilayer line type. It's almost similar with uh, this one, you see, very thick. So pay attention to the apply the line thicknesses. Okay. In general, uh, we are using. Uh, line thicknesses for 0 0.40 or 0 point, 0 point 0.35 for the walls. For the door and windows, we use in general 0 0.18 or 20. It's changed regarding the detail, provided detail, pay attention. But for uh, thin line, use 0 0.05 or 0, 0.0. Nine, do not use the higher things. It will be very thick at the printout. And for text size, in general, at the printout, the minimum minimum text uh, width or height must be uh, three millimeter. The smallest text height at printout. Pay attention. For example, it is presented as seven millimeters. If we print out as one to one, for example, let's change the uh, scale. So the height of this text is seven millimeters. Pay attention. However, if we change it to one to two, for example, this means that we will see 3.5 millimeters text height. In order to understand this issue, you must print out some of your text. So the scale is important for the text height. Pay attention to this issue. The printout is important for us. The thicknesses or uh, width text height at printout are important for us. For example, 
At here, we use five millimeter font. Why? Because this will be one to one. This this is arranged for one to one submission. Okay. If you would like to change the uh, scale, you have to increase the scale presented here or create a different title block specific for each scale. For example, if you would like to print out as one to 20 as a scale, you should increase the scale as 20 times, you see. And when we set this paper size, we will see that these texts are again five millimeters at printout. So pay attention to this issue, the scale of the object, the line types. 